In today's video, we're going over the best aim assist settings you guys can use in Warzone 2 right now. Aim assist plays a very big role when it comes to how accurate you're going to be. And if you guys aren't using the right settings, it can be the one reason why you guys are missing a lot of shots. So with that being said, if you guys do enjoy today's video and learn something new, make sure you guys drop a like and subscribe to the channel. And if at any point in the video, if you guys have any questions or don't understand something, you guys can always comment them down below and I'll try to touch up on anything that I might've missed. All right, guys, jumping straight into my aim assist settings. I have my target aim assist on obviously my aim assist type is on black ops this is my favorite and i recommend this for anyone that is playing warzone right now black ops is the most powerful out of the other options if you guys are not using black ops aim assist then i don't know what you guys are doing black ops is going to give you that arcade feel just like the black ops games like black ops 3 and black ops 4 if you guys know how those games actually play out they're very very strong when it comes to aim assist and they're very sticky because they're mainly an arcade shooter they're not really you know focusing on realism so if you guys are trying to get that arcade feel i recommend you guys use black ops my response curve type is dynamic this is not that important when it comes to aim but if you guys do want to try this out i highly recommend it dynamic is a very nice you know response curve type for me so you guys can try that out and one very important thing that most players don't know about is your dead zone. This actually plays a very big role into how much emphasis you're gonna get. The lower your dead zone is, the more emphasis you're gonna get. How does it work? I don't really know, but basically the more control you have over your controller, I guess, the more emphasis is going to kick in when you're trying to shoot enemies. So if your dead zone is really high, let's just say your dead zone is like up here at 0.15, or 0.20 that means your controller probably has a lot of stick drift and you're not going to be able to take advantage of all the aim assist in the game which is unfortunate uh, if you guys do play on something in ridiculous like 0 0 0 which means your controller is basically perfect and you have no stick drift then you're going to be able to take advantage of a lot of aim assist I'm talking like you don't miss a bullet, everything just sticks to everybody. You can shoot people through walls and feel the emesis through walls. This right here is the most overpowered thing for that. But to be realistic, most players can't play on 0.00, .00 because the controller has at least some amount of stick drift. Even brand new controllers out of the box sometimes have a weeny, weeny, weeny bit of stick drift. So this is unlikely, but if you guys have taken care of your controller, you guys can try this out and test out just how good the aim assist is. I'm gonna make a video on my dead zone very, very soon, actually trying out zero and just seeing how it works. But I've actually tested this in the past before when my controller was still brand new and it is definitely much, much stronger. However, right now I am playing on 0.08 .08 because I do have a bit of stick drift now. And uh, yeah, it works perfectly fine still. You can still get a lot of aim assist with even a number at this rate. But those right there are the most important settings. If you guys are trying to get that sticky, sticky aim, just like the pros, uh, if you guys haven't switched these settings already, I really recommend it. And playing on a lower sensitivity is gonna give you a little bit better aim. Uh, it's not gonna necessarily give you more aim assist, but it's gonna be much more easier to control it. And once you actually snap onto someone, you are not going to let go. If you manage to actually snap onto someone's head or snap onto someone's torso, it's gonna to be very hard for them to shake you off because your emesis is going to be helping you out so much on a lower sense. On something like 2020, it's easier to lose track because one wrong micro movement in your joystick can completely throw off your aim and tracking. But those right there are the best settings you guys can use for emesis for now. If you guys have any questions, you guys can leave them in the comment section. And if you guys have any other videos you guys would like me to make a video on, then you guys can leave those in the comment section as well. I know this was actually a very highly requested video. So with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace, love, and understanding always. Load up, drop, edit your way. Vulnerability in the enemy's network. Locate their objectives before they go offline. Be advised, UAV is exiting the AO. Hostile 
Hostile UAV overhead. Watch your six. Resurgence window is ending. Soldier incoming. Kill confirmed. We've located the rest of them. Marked remaining officers in my squad. Hunt them down. Be advised, the resurgence is no longer active. Five remaining. 